Hey, what is going on, guys? It's Cole with the Bone Crusher. This is gonna be a uh, a re-upload of my video that I just tried to do just now. Uh, I tried to increase the quality to 1080p by 60 frames per second. My computer can't really handle that kind of processing power of that going on right now, so I'm just gonna kind of try to give you guys an, another gameplay here. Um, what I kind of discussed in the video that I tried to make was uh. I recently uh, changed my organization's name to Killers in Disguise KID. I'm sure you guys remember back in the day, uh, I used to run a clan tag on Call of Duty 4 uh, KID, which is obviously what I'm running now. Uh, I decided to revamp that instead of run instead of representing Fallback GG, which was somebody else's idea that I'd kind of you know brought up. I decided to kind of make my own organization, bring all of my guys under me. And us kind of grow this thing together from my idea that I came up with a long time ago. So I, I, I felt that that was only fair instead of kind of, you know, making somebody else's dream come true, I guess. But I don't know. Um, I'm just going to kind of give you guys a live uh, gameplay of me playing Safeguard on uh, Breach. Obviously, I've told you guys in the past, I like to warm up on, uh, I like to warm up on Safeguard. And I guess I would say I'm already well warmed up because of the last game. Uh, I'll tell I'll tell you guys right now. If you guys are looking at me right now and it looks like I'm on Adderall, I apologize. I just got done trying uh, G Fuel for for the first time not so long ago. So I wouldn't say that's a game changer for me right now. I I do feel like I'm more awake, like I'm I'm more alert as of right now. Oh shit! I need to pull out an AR. These guys are using dingoes and shit. I can't be having that. Uh. Oh god, I just melted him. But yeah, um, <laughs> uh, I totally forgot what I was gonna say, dude. Kind of got distracted because I got just demolished by a dingo. So, I suck at live comms, dude. I I I need to just come up with some kind of badass gameplay and then just kind of commentate over it. But, uh, I don't know. But yeah, trying G Fuel for the first time, I feel like I'm more alert, but I'm not saying that it's, that it's like completely helping out with my gameplay as of right now, because everybody that I've played in pub so far today has been demolishing me. Like, like typically I am the one like shitting on kids, but today just hasn't been a, God damn. Well, how did I die? Reflex, high caliber FMJ. Come on, man. Like, like this is the shit that I died to, man. I'm telling you guys. Look how fast he kills me, dude. Oh, fucking kids, man. I think they're so good at this game because they use high cal rapid fire and on on their guns and shit like that. What that, dude? Where did you go? Yeah, we're we're about to get shit on. I actually just got done shitting on this team, uh, 61 to 20 last game, or I think I had the other team on my team last game, which made it convenient, because I'm not doing very well right now. Uh uh, got your boy. I got a feeling somebody's gonna be on our hot flank. Yep, yep. Easy reads, pal. It's hard though. It's hard to. Where the hell did I go? I gotta meet this kid in a minute. Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. I'm just kind of playing some casual safeguard for you guys. I'm sure you guys probably know. I, I like to play safeguard to kind of warm up for the day. Um. And if and if I got too distracted out there, I was trying to make sure that I didn't cost my team, and I still did. Uh. Yeah, I like to play Safeguard to, to warm up for the day because obviously you guys know I like to play competitive COD. I like Safeguard because like it's such an active game mode and like there's always something going on. So it's not like uh, there, like there's always something going on. So it's not like you're gonna be you know missing any action at all. Like obviously a lot of the action is gonna be concentrated towards the bot because you have to prevent the other team from capping the bot. Oh shit! Hello. Damn, dude. I'm getting my shit ran. He's probably running rapid fire. But yeah, this is why I don't like pubs anymore, guys. I mean, obviously, this is why I'm playing it casually. Because 
pubs on this game is so gay, man. And I'm sorry I'm offending any of you guys that are gay. It'll buy me saying that. But I'm telling you, some, some of these kids play like they choke on dick. It baffles me. Hello. Get shit on, buddy. Ah, and, and then obviously I got a team like this where they're the top guy is 6 and 15, 18, 11, 11, 8, 8, 11, 5, 11, and 1 and 4. So this has pretty much been me ever since the uh, ever since the beginning of me ever playing COD. I've always been the one carrying. But that's good because I, I have the skill and the ability to hop in here and just completely tear ass. And it makes me look good whenever I'm actually... Uh, uh, it makes me look good whenever I actually, you know, shit on kids and get the win because 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 pe people can't really come up with the excuse that like they oh man you suck bro you know well they, well yeah well why don't you look at me playing pubs every time and just kind of look what I have to kind of put up with because as of right now my teammates are getting demolished. And they, they at least have two or three people on the other team that are good slash decent. Oh, God. I run and I get stunned, man. Who does shit like that, man? Just randomly throws a stun, bro. I'm telling you. Like, like three quarters of the people that play pubs in Black Ops 3, this is all they do all day long. So you're just like, okay, dude, what's the freaking point? Hello. Ah, and you're camping a corner with it. I mean, well, I guess that's fine. He's capping a corner with an LMG. I wouldn't say that's a bad play because, yeah, I, I wouldn't really say that's a bad play because you I mean you really can't get moving with an LMG. No, you can't really get moving with an LMG. I'm sorry, I paused right there. I had to actually look what this kid's attachments were. I know the HVK has a, a hell of a rate of fire. But whenever people throw rapid fire on that thing, rapid fire and high cal overall is like the most dumb thing in this video game, bro. Damn, just missed so much. Watch rapid fire. Actually, nah, that thing just kind of melted me. Right, I need to try to cap for my teammates because we're not doing good at the moment. Oh god, no. Hello. Mm -mm. Oh, dude, people who play safeguard are literally the best in the game, I'm telling you. 36 and 18, because I'm just straight carrying my team whenever it comes to, like, just straight carrying my teammates whenever it comes to, like, slaying ability. Ah, uh, I uh, melted. Nah, never mind. I was weak. I'm just complaining now. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, if you guys ever, like, want to catch me whenever I'm not uploading, because, like, I mean... Me doing this right now is honestly kind of rare because I don't upload a lot. Like, like if anything, I'm trying to let my my Twitch grow because I mean I I already do have a good audience on, on here on this YouTube channel, but I'm also thinking about announcing something pretty soon that like would alter my fan base and like and like would really affect me as a YouTuber. But it's probably a decision that I want to make on my own that I. Uh, that I feel is just right by me. It's just something that I just don't really feel compelled that I want to do. So, uh, but anyways, other than that, let's get back into the gameplay. Now that we're on defense, I think I might go sit top cube with an AR if I die again. Oh, he just got shit on. All right, uh, Colby Strat 101. Something that you guys want to do whenever it comes to safeguard. You want to make sure that you, you either push out the left or the right lane whenever it comes. Because, I mean, stereotypically, most of the action is going to be on the bot. The bot always pushes the middle lane. He never really, uh, like, the the bot is programmed to push the middle lane every time. So something that you want to try to get control of is, is the left or right flank. That's if you're trying to slay out. But if you're on defense, I recommend you get yourself into a good power position. Like, like obviously, where I'm at is... Uh, is top AC 
and that way I, 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 I can watch flank, but I also have a good, uh, I also have a good view on mid, and I can watch flank. And these guys right here, I probably want to try to push up, but I don't know. Yeah, I just got shock charged. See, th this head glitch right here will, will honestly be so OP for me. And I've actually got somebody on that left flank, so as long as I don't see him dying, I should be good to, uh, to kind of get control of this top cube. And mainly the best thing, to tr like, mainly the objective on defense is, is literally just trying to hold these guys off as long as you can. Because whenever it hops into overtime... It's almost like, you know, like players just go into crunch time of actually trying to capture the, like push up the bot. Rounds one and two before uh, overtime starts. And, and that's if both sides caps or captures the bot. You know what I'm saying? Um, rounds one and two from both sides of the team is just all about slaying, just trying to get like a lot of kills. I mean, this, this game mode is a kill horror game mode. So I can't really argue with anybody that's just trying to go for kills. Because that's what I'm trying to do. I, I'm, I'm mainly just trying to kind of slay the other team out. Just trying to, you know, get my shot on for the day. But, uh... Once it starts heading into overtime, I, I really am trying to help my teammates out whenever it comes to capping the bots. So... Like this right now, I'm just trying to hold off this flank because I know this is a pretty major spawn point. And it's a really big choke point, choke point for us, because uh, once they push up the bot to bottom lab, everybody just starts. Uh, e e they they either spawn over there or they're going to be spawning uh, in palace over here. And those are pretty bad choke points for us whenever they push it outside of the lab, because everybody just kind of coming from all sides. You honestly don't know where the enemy is going to come from, if they're smart enough, obviously. Okay, so we, we, we pretty much already held these guys off. Damn. We pretty much already held these guys off for pretty much... Oh my... Dude, come on. The spawn kill? Really? Alright, dude. You're about to get your ass spanked. This is what I'm about to do to you. Oh, that's not him. Damn, bro. Come on. I, I think I killed him. Never mind. It was the active camo gun. I think that was him. Dude, my teammate's blind, bro. I mean, I, I understand this is pubs, man, but like... It, it it irritates me so much whenever every time I play a game, I'm I'm sure that that could be skill based matching making, but I don't think I've ever really had too many um, times to where I, I have a balanced team. Like my team is always pretty much. Oh God, I just missed all those shots. My teammates are pretty much all negative. Whenever it comes to the game, and I and I'm always getting my ass spanked by the other team because it's pretty much like a one or a one or a one v six or a two v six, you know? Because there's always like one guy on my team that is decent, but is still not getting anything done slaying wise. Like like he's just done, he's just killing somebody then dying, killing somebody then dying, kills and killing somebody then dying. You know what I'm saying? I mean, ah, I'm just getting a good ratio going on right now. I can't I can't argue. I'm 70 to 29. That's actually a good ratio. I mean, like, people send me friend requests and be like, yo, you want to grind out pubs, dude? I'm like, nah, dude, I just kind of, I play competitive. I don't play pubs, man, because, because whenever you're, you're so good at pubs, it's kind of a waste of your talent to be, to continue playing pubs. Because, if you continue playing, playing pubs, you're not going to get anything done your whole life, dude. Like, I mean, if, if you are good enough, you can get big on YouTube, like some of these other, you know, pub stomping YouTubers. But I decided like where the real money is at and then where the real popularity is at is is professional competitive gaming. And that's kind of why I chose this year to not you know play pubs as much anymore. And actually, this is like my fifth or sixth pub today, so I'm actually destroying it right now. Honestly, guys, I think I could probably give you guys a hundred kill gameplay as of right now. Um, I'm gonna pull out this weevil. Uh, fast mags are really good with the weevil. It is a really good tip I can give you guys right now. Because fa uh, the Weevil's reload speed is significantly lower than the VMP's reload speed. Uh, I'm just letting you guys know right now. Like it, remi it, it reminds me of the the P90 off of uh, it reminds me of the P90 off of Call of Duty 4. <laughs> oh, this dude, this dude got the Banshee. Nice, dude. Uh, 
it reminds me of the P90 off of Call of Duty 4 and uh, Modern Warfare 2, obviously. So the uh, reload speed on that gun was not always that great, but it always had a high mag, which made it balanced because, I mean, it's like a, it's like a little mini LMG, man. I'm telling you. Hello. It fucked up, son. Ah, I got a shot in the ass. Come on, boys. I'm going to try to get 100 kills. Uh, good thing about me playing safeguard all day, I kind of know the spawn points. So whenever it comes to like me killing, not only is it my gun skill that's killing these guys, but it's also uh, it's also my knowledge of the spawns. That's pretty much pub how pubs are, especially whenever it comes to any game mode that you play. If you have good knowledge of the spawns, you're going to be coming up with nuclear gameplays. You're going to be coming up with 50 plus kill gameplays. It's it's just going to happen naturally. Oh, nice! I got a fucking they got a wraith. Well. At least we do have a lot of time. At least we do have a lot of time to, to cap it. So it's it's not like that Wraith is going to be up in the air for long. But if we still lose, I'm going to be very irritated. These guys are just going to keep disabling the bot until it... Until it's just time for them to... Whoop. Dude, I'm, I'm inside the building, fam. Dude, how come my Wraith can't do that, man? Every time I call on a Wraith, it, it gets shot out of the air. It irritates me. It, I'm not gonna lose. I'm not gonna lose. Well, at least I'm 79 and 37. Still gives me the ability to drop us 100 kills. Uh, but another 20 kills in this two-minute time. I'm not sure. Oh my God! And the shotguns come out. I knew it. This lobby cannot be too good to be true. Fuck you. Damn, can I get some help team? Come on, we got a minute and 55 seconds. I'm actually getting really irritated right now. If I lose these guys, I'm gonna be heated. Nice, let's go baby, ah. Uh-uh, get out of reverb. Dude, here come the shotguns, ah! Fuck it, hey! <laughs> Hate these things to death, bro. These guys are going to be spawned back here. Uh, 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 no, no, I got tagged up by a shotgun and then I got melted by reverb. Oh, so irritating. Every time, man, every time. Oh, dude. I don't know, boys. I don't know if we can do it. We got this full camping up in here. Like capping over here is so much harder, man. It's it's just so damn tough. Dude, these like the kids that I'm playing have like reaction speeds of fucking Addy kids, man. Like I can't even like do anything as of right now. Like, holy hell. Getting my ass spanked because my team sucks ass. I told you guys every time, every time, every time, every time. And of course, he melts me that quickly to where I can't even kill anything. My grab is it. We lost. Like there's there's no chance of winning at all. I don't see it. I don't see it happening. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we won by the skin of our teeth, and I went 90 and 45. I uh, don't know how that works, but uh, obviously somebody came in clutch for the team. Somebody came in clutch for the team, and uh, so did I with my 90 fucking kills. So, guys, it looks like that would definitely be the conclusion of today's video. That's a 19-minute live comm. That was quite the intense 19-minute game. 
So, yeah, make sure you guys follow my Twitch in order to catch up with me whenever I'm live streaming. Follow me and you get notifications. Yeah. If you guys follow, uh, oh, look, I got one of the weekly contracts. Um, oh, scorekeeper, okay. Um, you guys follow me on my Twitter up there in the top left. You guys can catch up with me whenever I'm not uh, doing anything at all. I'll definitely be responding to my tweets. So that'll be the conclusion of today's video, ladies and gentlemen. This is your boy, Colby the Bone Crusher. And we are signing the fuck out. Peace.